Hey everyone, wanted to give you a quick demonstration of the Board of Education bot that I've got set up here, being run with JavaScript and the Johnny5 framework using Node.js on my computer. So I picked up the uh, Board of Education bot from Parallax here. I actually bought mine from sparkfun.com, but you can get it from Parallax directly or from a number of other places. Um, find the installation or configuration and assembly instructions uh, here on the Parallax website. Get it all put together. Now I happen to have mine configured with a Bluetooth wireless module that I picked up from dx.com. Um, this is the cheapest and easiest way to get a wireless uh, configuration for your Johnny5 use uh, for NodeBots. Um, I recommend picking up a couple of these. Buy at least a couple of them because it takes forever to ship. Um, it takes like 10 days to ship it, and then it takes like another two or three weeks to actually get it because it has to go through customs and everything from Australia. Uh, once you do have that, head over to the Johnny5 project page on GitHub, and in the wiki, you'll find information on how to connect this particular Bluetooth module to your Arduino so that Johnny5 can use it. And it's not terribly difficult to do, uh, pretty simple overall, but the end result is pretty awesome. Um, so I have my little bot set up, um, and I have a little sample app that I wrote that allows me to control it from uh, the REPL interface in Node.js and Johnny5. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my camera now and then turn on the bot. And once I have that, I don't think you can see it very well, but right there on that Bluetooth stick at the very top of it is a little blinking light that tells me that it's on. So now that I have that, I'm gonna run my REPLBOT.js. And assuming this connects, and gets going. There we go, BOB bot ready. So now I have complete control over the robot directly from the command line REPL interface here. I can say bot.forward, and it starts to move forward. Very slowly, of course, because I don't want it to run off my desk. Say bot.back, and it starts to move backward. Bot.forward, move a little faster. Bot.spin left. Bot dot stop. And let me move it forward just a little bit. And you, you can see as it's zooming in toward the camera here that I do have that Bluetooth module right there on the top. That little red glowing light tells me that it is connected. I'm gonna stop before it rolls off the desk. Go back a little ways. Stop. Uh, let's see, let's do bot dot spin right and have it move pretty darn fast. And move it back forward a little bit. So you can see I can control the bot pretty easily here directly through the REPL interface in Johnny5. And the way I'm able to do that is because in my source code, I created this BOE bot library, and I have that directly injected into the REPL interface of Johnny5 and the Fermata framework so that I can control the bot right here from the command line. So you can see um, I do have this BOE bot code set up to control my particular configuration of the BOE bot. It's got all the different commands to move left, right, spin left, spin right, forward, backward, and all that. Um, this is available out on GitHub. It's a very, very early. I don't really uh, think it would work very well for anybody but me at this point. But um, if you want to take a look at this, it's at github.com slash Derek Bailey slash BOEbot.js. And you can see both the REPLBot and the BOEbot library uh, for controlling the bot. I don't really have a whole lot of documentation here, but hopefully that'll change soon. So that's pretty much it. That's the demonstration of my BOE bot running Johnny5 JavaScript and my little library for it. Thanks.